Sergio Cabucci. He's one of the greatest Western directors who ever lived. He's one of the great action filmmakers who ever lived. He's he's at the tip top of the action filmmaking game, which I actually think is one of the is the most cinematic game a, a director can do. All right, is yeah. to be a master of, of cinema action. The effortlessness of the mastery involved in some of those sequences. You don't get that good until you've made thirty movies. Yeah. That's yeah, true. when you've made 30 movies and you know what you're doing, there you know, now it's just kind of coming off you know, like like sparks coming off your fingers. He was the most prolific of the, of the great spaghetti western directors. Kabuchi didn't necessarily do the giant canvas epics that Leone specialized in. Doing more down and dirty revenge stories, down mm-hmm. and dirty cowboy pictures. Part of the thing that what makes a, the great western directors great is they forge their own version of the West. And in the case of Sergio Kabucci, there is nobody who specialized in doing Westerns that committed to as surreal, as cynical, and as surrealistically violent a West as the Westerns of Sergio Kabucci. The Muddy Streets in Django are just a fucking revelation. I mean, yeah. It's just a, re- a revelation of dirt and grime and just of atmosphere. I mean, it's just one of the greatest Western sets of all time. Uh, Apparently, he almost destroyed that studio. That studio was never able to get the mud. (laughs) One of the most important parts about Corbucci's entire oeuvre was growing up under fascism. Corbucci was less interested in the concept of a hero leading his stories than any Western director ever. Uh, I would even throw a, a, a Peckinpah in that. You cannot call the leads, the protagonists, of Kabuchi movies as heroic. They're not heroic. The, the best you can say about them is they're Avengers. They usually have a blood-soaked revenge in their mind that they're trying to uh, uh, quench the thirst of. But nobody can fulfill their archetypal function except in contrast to the villain. And the villains represent fascism. It's only the supreme evil of the villains that can even cast the lead protagonist as anything close to a hero. Yeah. Only by their hatred of, of the fascistic villains do they have a, a, a heroic patina about them. 